Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you some new pigment consumables and more new beequips and some other stuff. So yeah, also before the video starts, make sure to like and subscribe as I'm trying to hit 17,000 subscribers. And yeah, now back to the video. So first thing I want to show you is the new, um, the new pigment consumables. So here are all the three pigment consumables. There's a white one, a blue one, and a red one. And the pigment consumables can be used to temporarily turn nearby flowers into your desired colour. No matter the field. So let's say I'm on stump field, yeah. I can change the whole field into like red flowers, blue flowers, or white flowers. Whatever I want, which would be very, very good. And would be a very, very good idea. Also, I forgot to mention that all of these have been made by Jellyfresh. So, yeah. Now I'm going to show you another very cool item. The cardboard box. And this is a beequip. And this beequip would be for only for the tadpole bee. You need the tadpole bee to be level 16. The color is blue, of course. Limit. The limit is only one. It's 10 to 30% energy. And the ability is box of frogs. So you basically... It basically summons... A box of frogs tokens anyway like it, it it summons it anywhere so yeah so yeah now I'm going to show you guys the bug radar and here is how it looks like it looks very good has a ladybug and everything as the phone kind of yeah so the bug radar shows the respawn time for all monsters and reveals the locations of all aphids wild vicious bees and wild windy bees for 30 minutes which is very good and now here I'm going to show you another actually very very good item the bitter brew the bitter brew would make all mutations of all your bees twice as effective for 10 minutes and crafted from 500 bitter berries and 100 royal jellies which is very good too there also is a bucket of salt the bucket of salt instantly deals 5 million damage to the stump snail and can only be used in the stump snail and this could be obtained from panther be panda bears repeatable quests which panda bear could potentially have repeatable quests would be very good if he actually had repeatable quests and yeah also there's a new item and feature which would be a star enhancement and star synthesizer. So this item, the star synthesizer would basically, and star enhancer would basically just... So this item would basically be used to grant a boost on your chances of generating a good supreme star amulet. And this would... So for a binary boost, you would need 3 star enhancements. For a stat suppressed, you would need 10 star enhancements a passive pull out you would need 20 star enhancement and this would give you you can choose a passive to remove from the pool making it impossible to generate and 25 star enhancements you can choose a stat that appears on a ssa to make it guaranteed to appear every amulet you generate limit one stat you can change via setting star enhancements could also be donated to the wind shrine from for extremely high winds so yeah all of these sound insane and make sure to tell me in the comments which one you like the most and which one you think which will be the best and for me personally i really like the the pigments i really want those in game but i'm pretty sure i don't want add these so yeah but yeah credit to jillyfesh and thanks for watching